SharePoint list, you have built-in forms that, that are used when you try to perform a particular action to the list. The first form that you have is a new item list. The new item list is what appears when you're trying to add a new item to the list. All the columns that you've added to the list will appear on that new item form. Now there are other forms as well depending on the particular action that you'd like to take. You have a form that appears when you select an item for the display item and then when you click edit item you have another form which is the edit item form. Again that displays all the columns and it allows you to edit every single field. Sometimes you can't use the built-in SharePoint forms that are available for editing so you need to customize it for one reason or another. So why do you have to customize it? Well there's a variety of reasons why. One reason might be that the business user wants to form a look at different than the standard SharePoint form which happens a lot. Now another reason that could be that the business user or you yourself may want to hide certain fields from the user when they're doing a particular action item. And that's also a common reason why. What are some changes that you can make to customize a list form? Well, you can hide fields. You can also rearrange fields if you don't like the original order that they're in. You can also change edit mode on fields if you want to change it from edit to display. And then finally, you can add additional look and feel functionality that's not built into SharePoint. In this illustration, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate customizing an edit form on the SharePoint list. Let's begin. In SharePoint Designer, select File, Open Site. In the Open Site dialog box, enter the URL to open the site that you're going to be editing. If the URL does not appear, enter the URL manually and click OK. In the Folder list, select the Lists folder, expand it, and then select the, the list you'll be working with. In this example, we'll be working with the list Getting to Know You. Let's take a look at each of these forms. The All Items form is the form used when displaying all items on a list. The next form, the Disp form, is the form used to display a selected item on a list. When you select an item, this is the form that appears. The next one is the Edit form, and that's what appears when you're editing an item. So when you click Edit, this is the form that appears. Last but not least is the new form, and the new form appears when you're adding a new item to the list. So when you click New, this is the form that appears. In this demonstration, we are going to be creating a custom form for editing. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to make a copy of the edit form. So what you do first is you open up Edit Form, then wait for a moment, then when it opens, select File, Save As, and save it as a different name. In this example, I'm saving it as Edit Form 2. Note that you do not edit the original edit form, nor do you delete it after you save it, because it does cause some problems with your SharePoint list if you do. If you do that, what happens is you will no longer be able to do things in your list, and the only way you need to recover that is to delete your list completely and re to create it. Once you have edit form, now you're going to get ready to edit it. The first thing you do is select the list form rev part and you can either cut that or just hit your delete key as I demonstrated here to delete it. Now you're going to add it, the custom control. Insert SharePoint control custom form library. What you're going to do first is select the list that you're working with make sure the content type is, type is an item and then for the type of form to create select edit F item form you may leave the show standard toolbar checked if you uncheck it the toolbar will not appear now wait a moment while the form loads now in this little demonstration what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to hide a few, few fields and I'm also going to make some of the fields read only the first demonstration is making it read only what you do is just select the field and then there's a property for the particular field called control mode. The control mode is what you change to make it from an edit field to a display field. The display field will make it a read only field. I'm going to do that with the name and then I'm also going to do that with the badge number. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the address. 
I'm not going to delete it completely, although you can when you're modifying this form. I'm just going to hide it because just in case I need to bring it back for one way or another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a few properties. I'm going to change the property of the label using the style property and then I'm going to hide the address field. All I'm doing for the property is I'm just setting the style property for the label. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to just set up proper the address, which is the visible behavior property. Then when you're all done, don't forget, save your form. So click the little save icon and then close the form. Now we're tying our list to the custom form. So right click on your list and select properties. Then select the supporting files tab. Select the type as item. And since we're changing the edit item, click browse select the custom form that we just created, then click Apply, then OK. Finally, it's time to test your changes. Go to the list on your SharePoint site and select an item that already exists. Once you select the item that already exists, click Edit Item. You'll notice that my changes are available where I block the name and badge number from Edit and I hid the address, but all other fields are open for editing.